Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh This is Dr. Farida from Faculty of Science and Technology Today I would like to share with you on how to use Quizbot in Telegram for quick assessment So for example, you have created uh, and shared your teaching materials uh, to the students So you would, you would like to find out whether your students really know as much as you think they know So the quizzes created using Telegram can help you to get a better sense of how much your students really understood your materials. It is also easy to access in a sense that the students then does, uh, does not have to log in to any website. Okay, um, what is Quizbot? Uh, Quizbot is actually a bot that can be used for quiz creation. Uh, you can create multiple choice questions and also true false question using this bot. There are set, uh, several general instructions that can be used, for example, slash help to get help, slash new quiz to create a new quiz, slash quizzes to show all the quizzes that you have created, uh, slash stop to stop the active quiz. So basically, these are the requirements. Of course, you need to install Telegram apps um, and then you have to create new Telegram groups and invite uh, or add all your students to the Telegram group. So um, these are the steps on how to create new quiz in Quizbot. First, you first have to search for the Quizbot. Uh, in telegram and then you have to create new quiz uh, after the new quiz is created you have to share the quiz to the group and finally you should be able to view the student's performance i will now demo to you on how to create the new quiz okay uh, first you have to start by searching quiz bot here click for this one okay then you have to click start Click create new quiz to create a new quiz. So of course a new quiz need a title. So let's see, I'm just going to give a name of um, online test one. Okay. So now you can give a description to your quiz, but this is optional. So I'm just going to skip this step. To create the first question, you just have to click this one, create new question. Insert the questions that you would like to ask to the students. For example, in this case, I'm just going to give a very simple mathematics question. Okay. Uh, and these are the options for the answers. You can add up to 10 options. So let's say 90, 80, 70, and 60. I'm just going to prepare for answers and then you have to select the correct answer here. Uh, Antic anonymous voting, otherwise you will not be able to trace which students uh, got it correctly or got it wrongly. So uh, every time I run the quiz, I will always untick this uh, anonymous voting setting. Okay, And then this one is only optional. If the students got it wrong, they should be able to see this comment. So it is good for educational purposes. So this one is also optional. So I'm just going to skip this one. Create. Okay. So now, uh, let's say I'm going to add another question. Which is a true false question. 60 plus 50 equal to 110. True, false. So this one is true. Untick the anonymous voting and then click create. Once you are done, of course you can add more create uh, add more question by click by clicking this create a question button. Uh, but if you are done, you can just type slash done okay and then you have to set a time limit for the question in this quiz so there's only one time limit so for example i'm going to choose 15 seconds you also have the choice whether to shuffle the questions and answers or to shuffle the questions only or to shuffle the questions or answers only or no shuffle at all so i'm going to choose shuffle only answers Okay, 
um, this one is no once you are done with, uh, as you can see that you have created two questions with a time limit of 15 seconds for each question uh, the answers will be uh, set as shuffle uh, this is the external sharing link where you can share by copying this link to the group as well or you can also share the uh, quiz by clicking this one start quiz in group and then you can choose whichever group that you have with your students okay uh, once you are done you should be able to see the quiz that but as of as of now there is no one who has answered this question okay so back to quiz i can also see other quizzes that i have created before this okay for example i have this one if you click this one you should be able to see quiz stats okay so based on the student's performance of the quiz here you should be able to trace which students who have performed well or which students that might need more explanation on the topic that you have assessed Okay, that's all for this session. Thank you and Assalamu Alaikum.